All right, that declaration, the Kitale declaration that happened yesterday during the 15th anniversary of the late uh, former Vice President Michael Kijano Amalwa is the center stage when it comes to our discussion this morning. And uh, I have Martin Andati, a political analyst, with me in studio this morning. And uh, joining us also from Kakamega, it is Emmanuel Wangwe, Navakola Member of Parliament, who seems to be in support of the declaration that was uh, read yesterday by some of the political leaders leaders in Western. And uh, we can have also this conversation on social media platform at KTN News at Zeta Brenda. That's our social media platform. Uh, yeah, that is uh, Twitter. I'd like to start with um, Honorable uh, Wangwe. You seem to be in support of what of the uh, Kitale declaration that happened yesterday. Why are you in support of this declaration? Thank you. Thank you, Brenda. And I want Thank you, Brenda. I really appreciate your invitation that uh, I address the nation and the country over the issue of Kitale Declaration live from Kakamega. Yeah, yeah, I can hear you, Honorable Wangwe. Can you continue? Why I do support this, uh, the declaration of Kitale, is uh, on the basis of the following. One. For you to govern and be a leader of people, the people must be self-reliant. Uh, uh, and the economy of Western Kenya is pegged on two products. One, the product of maize. Number two, the product of sugar. Now, we cannot be political leaders without looking at the economic uh, perspective of our people. The economic perspective basing itself on, uh, say, sugar. The sugar sector has come down to zero. Today, we have too much import into the country in terms of sugar. Maize farmers from the settlement schemes of Kitale, Lugari, and Transoya have not been paid. Therefore, we look at the, uh, the economic perspective of our people that has come down to zero. Now we ask ourselves, we cannot get support from the opposition. We can only get support from the government. I speak as a, a government member of parliament. We are just four from the region, Kakamega County for that matter. We have another four from Bungoma, and that is very insignificant. The question is, how do we help our people? We must go back to the president, who is the unifying factor of the country, to make sure that we let him know and get the proper feel of our people on the ground. And that is why we declared yesterday that it is through the leadership, through us the politicians, to now make sure the president gets the note of where are we, how do we come out of this situation, and where do we go. That is why we had to sign that memorandum to address the economic situation in western region. Okay, thank you, Honorable Wangwe. Just before I get your sentiments, uh, Andati, you know the quest for Luya um, unity gathered pace after Luya's from Western uh, region signed an agreement that is expected to bind them come 2022. So I'd like us to listen to what they had to say in Kitale yesterday during the 15th uh, anniversary of uh, the late uh, former Vice President Michael Kijano Amalo. Let's have a look at what they had to say. Oparanya. Governor Haemba ambao hawako hapa nitawafikishia pia waweke sahihi na tuweze kuhakikisha huu mkataba na mapendekezo yote yamemfikia mheshimiwa rais na vile vile nitafikisha ujumbe ya kwamba viongozi wa magharibi mwa Kenya wanataka siku ambayo watakaa naye wakae na naibu wa rais tuweze kutatua shida ambazo zinawakumba watu wa magharibi mwa Kenya ni yale ambayo yamesemwa pale Kwa hiyo statement na sisi wote tunaungana tunataka kwa kauli moja tufanye kazi pamoja na tushikane bega kwa bega tutembee bega kwa bega ili manufaa na uchumi wa eneo hii ibadilike na misha yetu yabadilike hata kama upendi lile mimi nasema ama kama upendi msema muongo kisiasa lakini tusitupiane mawe tusiguze mwenzetu tusimwage damu ya ndugu yetu na tusimwage damu ya mkenya yeyote wakati mheshimiwa wa malo alituacha region hii yote tulikuwa kwa msimamo wa kisiasa mmoja 
that this region is no longer going to be the top up for others in the politics of this country. That this region is going to stand together come what may. Kuna perception ilikuwa created kwamba pengine wengine wetu tunapinga kutembea pamoja tulikuwa tunasema tunataka tutembee pamoja kwa sababu ya kusaidia mwananchi wetu wa kawaida. Ndio maana tumekuwa tukisema kama hamtashikana muondoe jamu. Na kwa vile mmeshika na mumeshikana mimi kama mjumbe anawakolo nitawapatia support kwa hivyo maneno ya kuambiwa ho oh, tunakuwa namba 2 tunakuwa namba 3 sisi hatutaki unit yetu tunatafuta urais na hiyo urais tunataka tuongee katika lugha moja na hiyo lugha ni lugha ya mleme mambo ya kutupa hapa kutupa pale sasa imekwisha na hivi karibuni tutaanza kutembea tukifanya mikutano ili sisi wote tutafute agenda ya kusaidia kwa Kenya wote kwa jumla this is some of the sentiments of political leaders from the Luya community when it comes to the Luya uh, unity, that, uh, the declaration that was made yesterday in Kitale. And I'd just like to bring Mr. Andati to this conversation. Is agreement a major boost uh, for the region's quest to occupy state house come 2022? Uh, it's a process. The only issue is uh, I have uh, some reservations about... Uh, getting a task force, getting uh, a commission of inquiry to address uh, the challenges in the sugar sex, uh, sector. Mm -hmm. Commissions of inquiry take about two years. Uh, as we are talking now, Mumiasa has actually closed. The, the, the main problem uh, why Mumiasa has closed are two issues. One, the imports. Two, the farmers don't have, uh, are not planting cane. So, do you really need a commission of inquiry for you to, 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 to address uh, those issues? Because uh, Mumias was not paying the farmers. Uh, because the, the, the farmers would plant cane. And you know, rain-fed uh, cane takes about uh, 18 months to mature. So, after a farmer has planted uh, the cane and the harvest, he waits for another five, six years to get paid. So, because of that disillusionment, the farmers uh, uprooted cane. Mm -hmm. Then uh, there has also been a lot of theft, you know, massive. And uh, if you look at the KPMG report, it talks about uh, Kidero having uh, presided over the theft of over 3.1 billion shillings from Mumias. Then uh, he brought down Moko. Then he brought down Mosako, which was a circle of the farmers. So th those issues are in the public domain. I don't think you need... Uh, a commission of inquiry to address, uh, to, to bring up those issues, you know. Mm -hmm. th th those are issues the, the, the people in uh, Western and the people who understand uh, the issues of uh, cane farming mm -hmm. know. Okay. So I, I don't think that uh, root of uh, the commission of inquiry will be helpful. Okay. Then uh, when you come now to the political mm -hmm. issues of uh, the Luya nation, you know, there are still, uh, the dynamics are a bit fluid. Where when you look at uh, the people who are in transit, Oparanya was not there. Oparanya is the governor of Kakamega. He is tilting uh, towards Raila Odinga. Two, you know, you don't say you will rally behind one person. You say you rally behind Musalia, or you will say you rally behind uh, Wetangula or wh whoever. And uh, the person whom the community decides they are going to rally behind must have the humility to reach mm -hmm. out to the others, and must also build the capacity. Because uh, Brenda running for a presidential, uh, for the president is not a walk in the park. Mm -hmm. And you know, most of the, the fellas around uh, who are in uh, that uh, session are tilting towards uh, William Ruto, the DP. So I, I don't know whether their legend has changed, because uh, he had rendered quite a number of them. Okay. And uh, we, we know the dynamics, we know what happens because uh, most of them on Fridays and Thursdays normally collect uh, uh, facilitation from the DP's office. Mm -hmm. So will they, will they stop that? Okay. When they shift to whoever now they decide they are going to rally behind, will that person uh, facilitate uh, what they have been uh, collecting from the other side? Okay. So all those issues are going to come up. But you know... Politics in this country is organized along uh, communities. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's going to remain that way for quite some time. So maybe they need to, to go and uh, look at how did Wamalwa do it. Because uh, Wamalwa managed to galvanize uh, the community. Mm -hmm. And uh, in 2002, 
he got a substantial, a huge percentage of the Luya block to rally okay. behind uh, uh, Mwai Kibaki then, who okay. was uh, a candidate. They also need to learn from uh, Raila. Okay. Well, when uh, Jaramogi Ogingo Dinga died, mm -hmm. Raila was not the natural heir. Okay. There was Orengo, there was Nyongo, mm -hmm. who are also pretenders to the throne. Okay. But you this see, Raila didn't sit in any negotiations uh, to, to sit with these guys and decide that uh, he is going to be the kingpin. Okay, Even Uhuru, on. the emergence of Uhuru in central yeah. province, you know. They need also to look at that, you know. Okay, yeah. just hold on to that thought uh, because I'd like us to uh, cross over to the Kenya School of Government just to know what's happening there because I understand that um, Interior Cabinet Secretary Dr. Fred Metiangi is to discuss issues of immigration, identification and security uh, with regional commissioners.